felt strange, possessed, or as if you were acting upon a stage in front of a crowd of people. What does it mean, you, who see, to be seen, but not seen? To make oneself a man, a wife, a CEO without knowing oneself. He said, a man dressed like me capped off my friends. Joy, fear, love, shot them down in the schoolyard while I looked on until there was only one left. Anger. He became my best friend, a pack mule. He carried everything I couldn't grasp in my tiny hands. She said motherhood is the constant awareness of the functionality of fangs, the efficiency of claws, the way a cat never quite forgets how to catch a rat. Murder made flesh. Rage is the proper emotional expression when something we love is threatened. When the slaughterhouse blade of history is pressed to the throat of your heritage, your bloodline hemorrhaging, the dam beginning to break with all the screams contained in your grandmother's hands, this dam has been breaking for centuries. Does it matter not to kill that which the eyes have killed countless times? To kill, and when you've seen yourself killed in those self-same eyes, it's bigger. It's bigger than you and I and us. How many eyes have actually seen us? It's bigger. We're bigger than this. But any one of us could kill, murder, maim. When you've seen yourself die in those self-same eyes, countless times it becomes bigger. It's bigger. It's bigger than the crime. How does killing a man honor him? How does killing a man honor us, our history, our legacy, your stories? How many times must we watch ourselves die in another person's eyes before we see?